Hey everyone, February is in the books, so I wanted to take a couple minutes to share my results for the month of February. As always, please pause the video to read the full risk disclosure. We are not recommending that you buy or sell any security, and we are not financial advisors or broker dealers. All right, so before I jump into mine, real quick, uh, Chad's results. So Chad runs our day, day trading live stream a few days a week. And uh, on his Mighty 90 and Runner Strategies on Mighty 90s, 15 winners, 4 losers, plus 4,200. Uh, volume Runners, a little bit red. Continuation Runners, a little bit green. Net, 3,677 for his day trades. And these are all the day trades that he calls out in the live stream room. Chad has also come to the dark side of zero DTE trading. Had a big month last month, over six figures. Uh, followed it up with still a respectable month. Uh, his AM trades, a little bit red. His lunchtime, plus 14,000 power hours, plus 18.5 total profit on zero DTE, 24,180. All right, so into my stuff. So uh, first, my, my portfolio margin account. Uh, this is where I primarily trade zero DTE and portfolio margin based strategies. A uh, slight red return. Uh, and another and another drawdown. So this is pretty similar to what we saw last month. Now last month, I blame last month's drawdown on the market. This month's drawdown, that's on me. That that was just a personal blunder. No way around it. Uh, I talked about it in one of my weekly videos. It's just a big big mistake on my part. So anyway, scratched and clawed it almost all the way back. And so you can see, you know, this was the drawdown last month, fought all the way back, started getting close to new P in fact, intraday hit new P and L equity highs. And then this little drawdown, about a 15% drawdown pushed all the way back up and I'm right back to down about point, uh, about a half percent, a little, a little under 1% uh, away from my equity highs. So hopefully March is the month that I actually start making money in this account. Uh, in my standard margin account, primarily trading option selling strategies, hedgehogs, ducks, time flies, uh, some zero DTE and calendars. However, starting in March, I've designated this account as my challenge portfolio. So uh, for those of you who are members, you can check out the uh, my trade plan for the month of March to see exactly what that is. But I'm going to be compounding um, a handful of strategies in this account, and that's all I'm going to be trading going forward. So you'll see the updated performance here. Uh, had a nice month in this account, plus 19.23%, uh, minus 8% drawdown in the account. So this account's up about 30, whatever it is, 32, 31%-ish. Uh, so that one continues to do well. My trade year account, um, this was due to this primarily calendars, but I also did a, a RIC that was, that took a big loss on this one. So minus 9.81%, 17% drawdown in the account this month. And so you can see I'm down about 12% year to date in this account. And then my trade of eight account, uh, this one was up 60% last month, uh, a little Draw down 10% this month. And in fact, today on the 1st of March, I've already gotten all this back. Um, but for the month of, of February, uh, minus 10%, 14% drawdown. I did have a few mismanaged trades that would have made this green for February. So again, another, you know, that that's on me, not necessarily what I'm the strategy that I'm trading. And this is mostly directional futures and including my market on close strategy. Uh, so net net green for the month. Uh, and here's the, here's the overall. So this counts up about 49% year to date. So net net, uh, between all the accounts, I was green. Uh, but that's kind of the breakdown for the, uh, for the different accounts. All right. So now let's go into trade results by strategy. So let me bring up my trader sync. So we'll start with zero DTE. And let's go with, let's break these down a little bit more on my re-entry trades, uh, about 16,000 in profits. I'm doing one that's a one-to-one -one ratio. One of them is a three-to-two ratio. 
And actually, let me make sure on the other, I'm including my other account. All right, so that's those on my AM trades. AM did not treat me well this month, <clears throat> minus 20,000 on those. I've got a new strategy that I just started. Uh, we call it the Magic Mahomes. For those of you Patrick Mahomes fans, you'd like this one. Uh, plus uh, almost 4,800 on that. That just came out of test mode, so I'll be trading that in March. Uh, let's see. No, do we have FOMC this month? No. Yeah, no FOMC trades. JSPs, uh, one loser, the rest winners. One was a nice $8,700 winner. Um, uh, that was a discretionary trade, but nice winner. So plus 14,615. I started doing an NDX trade that I'm trading every day. As you can see, I'm trading that every day. It started out with SPX, but now it's just, just NDX. Uh, so 20 trades, 68% win rate, plus 4,479. And then Power Hour. Make sure I get all these checked. Give it a little refresh. So plus 27,000 on Power Hour. 32 trades, 68% win rate. Uh, let's see, then looking at PM trades. A little bit red, had a big $8,400 loss on that one. Uh, so minus 6,700 on my PM iron condors. Zero DTE price action. Uh, these were red. These were kind of test trades. Uh, but minus 18,000 on these. You can see 22 different trades. Uh, those did not play out well. So those, those won't really be part of my plan going forward. But I did trade them in February. Uh, one that I'll be trading in March is a quiet, what I call the quiet midday tranche. And this was, this was that blunder I was talking about to the tune of $19,000, uh, where I actually had this set up on bots and instead of tranching in, they all fired because I set it up wrong. And so I, and my position size was about five times bigger than I meant it to be. And I was just like, well. I'm just going to let it go. And of course I got stopped out on all of them. So that was a, that was my blunder there. Uh, zero DTE Ricks. So net net on my Ricks for the month, uh, minus 1200 had a couple, couple sizable losses there. Um, on Rick. So that was a little bit red on the month. Uh, my O2 DTE call calendar, three of those, uh, a little bit green, plus 500. Those are small trades. My one DTE iron condor, uh, plus 7,160 on 13 trades there. That one continues to do really well. And then dynamic butterflies, three trades, a little bit red. Minus 2,400 on those, on those three trades, this relentless market upside, those have not done the greatest. And then, uh, dynamic calendars. So let me get all these checked. So dynamic calendars. Plus 7,399. Let me make sure that's right. I thought it was a little bit more. Yeah, okay. So 7,400. Uh, had some nice winners. Uh, did have a little stretch right here uh, where market had a big overnight move. I got smoked out of a few, but net net, uh, nice and green for the month of February on my calendar spreads.
Next category, directional futures. Sorry, Trader Sync just has to get refreshed here for some reason. Yeah, so minus 500. So like I said, this is the account where I had some, uh, some mistakes and um, there's a mismanaged one for the tune of 2000. This was a day trade and I just totally forgot to close it at the end of the day. Would have been green, ended up being a $2,000 loss. So just little things like that. I should have been at least a little bit green in, the, in that account if it wasn't for some of those mistakes. Uh, Iron Ducks had a couple of small Iron Duck closes for wins. Yeah, four, four small winners. Refresh that to get the total here. Come on, Trader Sync. You can do it. Yeah, plus 665 on my ducks. And then, op oh, MOC. I had one uh, MOC, or no, I had two. One was a loser for about 4,000. And then yesterday, I had a winner. Yeah, so a forty-two hundred dollar loser and a nineteen fifty winner, so minus a couple thousand on those two MOC trades. And then option selling. It usually doesn't take this much refreshing, but so sorry for the delay here. Yeah, so option selling, just a couple of small Closing trades, one for minus 415, one for plus 382. These others are still open, and those are just booked credits on some rolls. And then lastly, portfolio margin. Click, 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 click. There we go. So for portfolio margin... Come on. Yep, small green, plus 1,375. You see I took a loss on a time fly, a loss on a Humpty, a nice win on a golden shark, a nice win on a reverse double calendar. I'm just kind of pointing out some of the, some of the bigger ones, uh, a bunch of open positions. So that is it for February, my friends. Hope everybody has a good March. Chat with you soon.